Okay, what we're doing today is we have purchased a, uh, a Grand Design Reflection. It's a 2022 model that we're planning on going camping with. And we decided we want to put the uh, Victron set up in it, if you will. You've probably seen it on YouTube, but we're going to show you our version of an, of an install. We're going to try to do this detail from one end to the other. So over here, we've purchased all the <coughs> components that you know they say on uh, the YouTube videos that are required to do this. And uh, this is all the pieces. And of course, this is the Victron Multi Plus 2. It just came in yesterday or day before as well. We're going to be mounting it inside and where we're going to take it is over here inside so we'll open the door up and inside in here our plan is to uh to, to mount it on this wall back here uh you know we're going to take this wall off we're probably going to move this wall in a little more towards me is the plan and also our hopes are to put the Victron unit on that back wall and then the two right now there's two batteries we have uh, they're the Chins uh, 12 volt 300 amp batteries we're gonna put two of them on that wall there our plans are to put them up high on a bracket and we'll show you the bracket that we're gonna use we're gonna kind of get them up off the ground so there'll be a little more room underneath for storage not gonna get much room but maybe about another foot or so it'll be enough room to stick some things underneath it and not lose a whole lot of our storage space because this is all we have uh, for our camping so uh, we'll do this detailed as we go so just follow us along all right, so we're gonna pull this panel out right, bring that around we've already taken the screws out of it you gotta kind of lean over there you go you gotta be a little gentle because it's got to yeah. kind of go at an angle like this kind of okay I, I may have to go to the other side i can't reach any further now okay we're actually in the front storage area here's where we're at and uh, what we're going to try to do i think this pump's going to stay where it's at but my plan is hopefully to bring all the wires through this same hole right here uh, that all these wires come through we're going to bring the the heavy duty wires through this and up and over and then we'll so we'll we'll have to mount that that uh, victron box right here uh okay so let's see where we can go from there okay so what we're doing is uh we're, we're looking at this Victron unit first to make sure we're aware of what we've got to hook up. And I need to pull the, pull the unit out. I need to come out of here. This thing's kind of heavy. Okay, it's out of the box. Now we've got to pull this uh, black cover off so we can see the uh, the connections here. So we can, I'm, I'm, I want to make sure we explain this uh, correctly of how, of how we're hooking it up. Okay. Now, this is uh, this is AC out. This is AC in, and this is number two. This gives us our secondary power, basically, because uh, we're, we won't be using this. I'm pretty sure we have a 50 amp service, but we're not going to be using this uh, this leg. Uh, what we, but what we've got to do is we've got to run our shore power, which is up in the middle of the camper right now, with our older solar system. So we're going to have to reroute it from the middle of the camper where the uh, uh, where, where the fuse box is up to here and in, into this uh, AC in. This will be our shore power in is what it'll be. And then uh, um, and then this will be our out uh, to our um, to our fuse box. So we've got to go in and out. We've got to run two units in and out. And along with these uh, connections um, we also have our 12 volt side, which will be where our lithium batteries will connect here. And we have, you know, we have two each, so that's, it gives us plenty of room to hook up. Because we are going to have to hook up some uh, from the battery uh, back to, like, you know, for the power for like the winch and and the the, the stuff that's elect electrical. It's 12 volt outside for like uh, moving stuff around. And we're going to have to relocate a bunch of wiring that uh, we'll probably show here in the in a little end cut of the picture here. Uh, where I had taken some shots underneath the camper, we'll be bringing those picture those wires back inside as well and hook them into this more than likely, so everything will be real clean and neat. I don't want anything sloppy looking. So, all right. So here we are underneath the actual camper. You can see, and I'm here on a creeper. Yep. Going through. And the big thing. Oh well. Got a hose in the way here. I'm trying to find the main 
cable. See, all this is up under here too that we have to address, but we're trying to find the main power cable that appears like it goes up front. So I've got to look through all of this underpinning and everything like that to try to find it. Actually, call it shore power. And see, yes, the the shore power. That's what I'm looking for. So that's that is what I'm up underneath here for. More than likely, I'm going to have to take a lot of this stuff off just to kind of see all the shielding. But we will see, and we will go from there. All right, this this orange wire right here mm -hmm. is. The inverter power in it. I gotta figure out what they're doing here. Okay, that's the Okay, this this is the 12 volts. They're using black and white instead of red and white like they should. They got a black here. Okay. I think I know what they've done here. All right, now we're moving. We're taking the uh, 110 and the uh, 220 fuse boxes. I'm sorry, not 220. The 110 and the uh, 12 volt. Uh, fuse box is out. Let me get the covers off here. I think uh, that, that's gonna be the whole fuse box there So this one here just got a cover on it, but before I go messing with this part of it We've got to go dis disable the power and cut things off because we've got uh, uh, Our power on in here right now, and I don't want nobody getting shocked or getting hurt so we'll make sure we disable this first and uh, Then we'll determine what circuits they've got the solar on here because we're going to be putting the solar on every bit of this and uh, I don't think we're going to have to relocate anything but we are going to have to make sure that we're on solar with every bit of this so that's what we'll do okay um, I'm sitting under the camper under the uh, side where the uh, refrigerator is I'm under the slide and underneath the slide here there is a uh, let me get my hands out of the way so you can see this there is a uh, power cord that goes from the very front all the way down the camper and I thought that it stopped right here at this breaker box halfway down so we measured 30 feet of wire to get down to there and I was wrong the wire does not stop there it continues on all the way to the back of the camper so uh, I'm gonna go in here and go back to the back it's kind of dark in here in the bedroom area and where the you know washer and dryer would normally be in this back corner at the bottom where they took we took two drawers out and right there is the the thousand watt uh power inverter you see that it has uh you know the 12 volts connected to it right there the black and the red they're coming from the very front and then there's a brown wire right there you may not be able to see it very good that's a brown wire it goes down and around and it's running the refrigerator because all this thing does it's a solar panel a solar system but it's designed to run nothing but the refrigerator so we're going to cure that because we're going to run everything on this camper if we can is the plan so um what i'm going to do because of where this is located it's in this drawer it's kind of hard to reach way back in here and now there's the hot water heater or water heater uh it's the instant water heater uh, uh it's kind of hard to reach back in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut uh, these these leads right here. I'm just going to cut them. Cut, cut, and cut. And then I'm going to unplug the lead right there that goes over. And they've got a plug sitting right down there that that's plugged into right there. And I'll unplug that. And then I'll unbolt. There's two bolts on the bottom right down there and there. Take those two screws out and take the two top screws out. Then I'll remove this whole uh entire uh thousand watt inverter uh i'm not gonna be able to hold the camera while i do this so i'll go ahead and remove it and then i'll show you what i've done when i'm finished all right i did leave something off before i take this thing off here i want you to see uh on the end down here you can't hardly really see it it's very hard to see but i had to unplug uh this right 
you might can see it. I don't know if I can get a light where you can see what I'm doing here. This connector right here. I unplugged this. This was plugged into the end of the unit over here, and it's the remote control for this that's over there at the front. Right, take it loose, and then also around there, there is a ground right there. You can probably see it. I'm going to clip that ground. Also, I'm going to clip the ground, clip the brown wire, and clip the red and the black, and then unplug and then pull this thing out of here after I've unplugged the, the power cord from it. So here we go. Okay, I got it out, finally. You see it's... It's out of the hole, now it's gone. And I've got the wires cut. Uh, I, you know, I had to just, all I had to do is just, I just clipped the two wires and I clipped the green, the brown wire, I'm sorry, and the, the ground, as you can see right here, I clipped it too. And then just unplugged this connector right here. Uh, got it unplugged. But the hard part was the screws that are holding it in. You know, these camper companies, they use these, these uh, square drive, Screws. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's kind because of, it's kind of dark. Let me see if I can get in the light a little bit here, so you, so you can see. You can see it's 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 actually a Phillips head, but it's got a square drive right in the middle of it, and uh, this Phillips head don't fit very well. So you have to use, uh, you know, the square drive tool, which is right here, and that's what I use to get it out. And if you'll notice, it's a S. I think it's a S one. Is what this one is, I believe. Let me get it where. I'm, we can see it. I think it is. I think it's an S. Yeah, it's an S1. There it is right there on the side of it. It's an S1 bit. And I used it to get those screws out, but they they actually was really nice. They put the screws right almost in line with that bar right there. So when I went in there with my drill, drill it wouldn't go. So I still got to get that little thing right there out, that little 100-amp uh, uh, breaker right there. It's hooked to the red line going in here, and I'm going to take it out also. And, it, and it's held in there sideways. You can see the two screws sticking through the wood right there uh, just a little bit. Just right right there and right there. And uh, they're, they're actually square drive also, so I'm going to have to go in there here and get me a, a little electric ratchet I got and put one of those square drives on it because so, i got to go sideways to get to those screws on the side of this to get this off because I'm going to take that off also. We might use that in our new solar build i don't know but if i don't even if i don't I, i'm gonna go ahead and get it uh, out uh this is the the unit it's a uh i think this is called a furion if i'm not state mistaken uh pure sine wave no it's not it's a wfco is the name of it thousand watt pure sine wave inverter for use in recreational vehicles and it works fine it's just a thousand watts is all it is and, uh, but it's designed, you know, just to run only this up here, this refrigerator right here, which it did a pretty good job with it with our solar, but it wouldn't even keep up with it with a lead acid battery. So we're going to have to, you're going to have to do a change over to a uh, lithium battery. If you're even going to do it, just leave it like it is. Cause the lead acid battery, when they say you this camper, uh, it's a good deal. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I really love our camper. I'm not knocking grand design, but they should have spent just a little bit more money or charged me a little bit more money and put a lithium battery up front instead of a lead acid because the lead acid cannot keep up with the refrigerator continuously. It dies, and I've tried it. I mean, it just cannot do it. We had sunny days here, really nice days for several days in a row, and it would quit on us. But we put the lithium on there and ran just the lithium with it, with it and it did pretty good and stayed up with no problem. But, uh, you know, we've been in and out and, and uh, just you know, running it temporary for right now. So anyway, I'm done with this. We'll move on from here. So here we are. Uh, we'll continue on. The rest of this stuff's going outside and all of this is gonna be put back together and we're gonna move to the underneath the uh, storage area. Okay, so what you're going to see here is we actually found the main shore power that ran to the back. It actually ran underneath this inverter that we removed. So what we're doing here is we are simply splicing together. So there's a 
line that runs from the shore power all the way to the front to this inverter and then back to the fuse box. So what we did is we actually spliced into here and ran the main power up through the Victron. Then we ran from the Victron back to here because we had to have that extra leg to hook the Victron up. So as you'll see here, we're actually splicing these together in this box. And then you'll see in this next video a little bit later that we actually placed this box right where the inverter was. This actually allowed us to use a lot less wire and allowed us to use the existing wire that we had since we had too little to do a full run, but turns out we didn't actually need it. We just spliced in here, pulled it up, and we actually saved a little bit of wire that we could use elsewhere if we ever needed to. Okay, everybody, that's going to end today's video. Uh, we're going to stop here. here. Uh, but stay tuned for part two and uh, please check out our link tree it's got all of our social media our amazon storefront uh, it's even got our etsy shop where we've got some stuff for the farm for sale i just created that and i'm still building that but please check all those things out uh, like and subscribe um, follow the channel it really helps the algorithm we're just trying to build this up so uh, thanks again and stick with us see ya